Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, we're supposed to get that uh, storm coming up the East Coast. Philip, I guess, or Philippe, as I guess it's called. Um, and I just wanted to do a few things to get ready for it. Have a couple of friends coming over for dinner uh, tonight. And rather than sit in the dark, I just figured I'd get a couple of things ready to go. One thing I was going to do is fire this guy up. Um, <clears throat> this is a 2000 watt inverter that you could probably guess by the color who made it. I can't say. And you could buy it at one of the major box stores. Um, whom I can't mention either. Um, this cover goes on right there. You can see the stickers off. Um, and this thing is a bit of a fussy starter. Um, it would not be... Um, I would not walk out of the house and go, Oh God, it's dark. I need to get started something. I need something to make electricity immediately. Um, I'm going to run right up to this thing, fire it up and use it. It, it is a bit, bit of a fussy starter. So... Um, if you take that cover off and take this off and give it a couple of hoots of uh, starting fluid, it's much, much more likely to start. I also put, um, I put some stabilized gasoline in there. So let's see what she's, she's going to do. If, um, I did start it before with the, uh, with the fluid so this is kind of a restart which is what I'm gonna have to do tonight quite honestly if I plan on uh, using this thing to stay out of the darkness so let's see what it wants to do well that's good news starting this is a warm start a lamp. We have light. That's a 60 watt filament light bulb in there and it seems to all be good. So that's one thing I did. The other thing I did, let's let that run for a few minutes. You guys know I've been putting a lot of time um, in on trying to get myself a little organized and you guys are familiar with the tent shed that also does not have a brand name um, but you can find those at a lot of the major box stores or internet sites um, anyway you guys know I've put a lot of time and effort into putting the shelves the shelves and uh, so forth up. I also spend quite a bit of time um, taping up the uh, the top. Um, I can only when I lean over. I can only make it kind of halfway. Um, but I did manage to get a couple of stripes of um, tape across the center. Um, about the tape I'm using, um, it's it's the one. With the um, oversized monkey, you can see the commercials on TV. They also make uh, glue products. So I think I think this thing is is going to be relatively stable uh, for the storm. I've um, moved in a lot of the loose stuff. I mean, some some stuff I just didn't get to. I didn't get to to repairing that tarp. I got this trailer moved. I've had no no trouble with these two moving about, um, getting blown around or anything. So, um, which is good news. I have the um, the trailer stacked up between my um, my wagon train wagon, my uh, covered wagon guy there. And then behind it, I have the trailer I got from the um, the store that you could buy various supplies. 
and it has the name um, tractor in the title yeah I plan on um, I plan on tweaking this trailer such that I'm able to drive in and out of it I'm planning on supporting the center getting this thing put back to you <coughs> together again so that uh, I can uh, store some stuff in it for the winter and be able to take stuff in and out of it easily but with the uh, truck there um, it won't be all that easy to to have theft from right with the gate up and the truck up against it um, it'll be about impossible to get anything out of um, you would have to lift a uh, 600 pound item quad or quite honestly an 800 pound golf cart out of it so I don't picture that happening too easily especially if the thing isn't a runner uh, so I gotta get this put back together again and get it ready to go uh, for the winter so um, other than that most most stuff is is fairly stable we're supposed to get winds up to 50 miles per hour which is about all we really do get here I mean some of this stuff unfortunately actually I don't think they're gonna move between um, the garages and the way the house is laid out like all that stuff in the driveway is kind of in a valley it doesn't move move around too much so I think I think I'm I'm gonna be okay this uh, storm the big thing was really getting that generator started um, inverter actually I like I really like that inverter for the um, reason that it's unbelievably good on fuel um, I did some testing and you guys look back at my uh, channel um, to see the test results but if you put one of those uh, power meters that measures frequency and voltage wattage and all that um, one could see that the thing is rock solid stable it probably puts out power that's cleaner than the power that comes to my house from the utility so um, I, I kind of use that to run um, the satellite TV um, the flat screens um, the pellet stove stuff stuff like that so what, what it does is it allows it, it allows me you know a, a few lights it allows me to be comfortable in the house should I need uh, to run the well I have a bigger generator that provides 220 downstairs use a lot more power also um, but I have a bigger generator downstairs <coughs> to run the well or the furnace or any of those other uh, big items uh, the nice thing about about that guy is I can run more or less um, run it all day on on a gallon of fuel um, where the the big generator would take several gallons so anyway yeah that's about it so not I'm not I'm not going crazy with the prep if you look on top of the tent you could see kind of the few strips there that's completely taped up on that end that ends completely taped up and once again the center did not tear but I wanted to get a few reinforcing um, strips up there all right um, I hope everybody else I'm gonna post this video right away because um, I don't I don't know uh, I frequently lose internet for us our power line kind of has places where it goes through the woods and not that it gets knocked down but if anything brushes against it they've made the uh, the um, power very sensitive so what it does is it uh, pops the fuses and then we have to wait for somebody to come and check the line to make sure there's nothing leaning against it and after they do that they have to replace the fuses and I'm um, my line is uh, I, I only think there's four or five people on it so if there's a, a major power loss for any 
any reason. It takes them quite a while to get to the point where they're checking on four or five people, right? So, hence the generators and all the other precautions. Okay, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Please remember to keep your feet down. Um, keep your heads up and get out there and enjoy all your days. By the way, if anybody's bored, um, my video, the one I just put up on the um, all-terrain cycle that I got from um, Socrates, New York, that one was uh, flagged. If anybody can take a look at that video and please give me an idea of why they're flagging me for not suitable for all advertisers, I mean, they're driving me crazy. It's like, it's like a mosquito in your bedroom when you're trying to go to bed. It just won't get out of my ear, you know. It just keeps buzzing me and buzzing me. I've, I've really tried about everything to, um, to keep them out, you know. I don't wear a hat with an insignia on it. I don't wear a t-shirt with an insignia on it. I don't show any brand names on the walls or anything. I mean, even with this um, video on the inverter, I pulled the, uh, I pulled the sticker off the inverter and I was very careful not to show who made it. It's pretty hard to talk about, hey, I got this particular all-terrain vehicle that's a vintage all-terrain vehicle that a lot of people would find interesting. It's pretty hard to talk about that if I can't mention who made it. Um, I'm not going to be able to drive any traffic to my channel, which means I'm not going to be able to buy any all-terrain vehicles. If I can't say, hey, I'm making a video on this vintage all-terrain vehicle made by so-and-so. So, I mean, if anybody, honestly, I, I'm, I'm asking it as a favor. If you can look at my video, I'm, I'm not getting paid for it, right? It's, it's been, um, AdSense is, is limiting its um, advertiser value. If you guys could tell me why it's being, um, being flagged, I, I'd really appreciate it. I also put it in for review, and I also sent our friends at Google another note asking them what's wrong but they like to answer green. What's wrong with my video? Green. I mean, that's a nice answer, but it's not the answer to the question I asked. So um, maybe somebody out there is more clever than I am. Maybe somebody could see something that I can't see. Um, let me know, guys. I really appreciate the feedback. All right, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Please remember, keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and get out there and enjoy each and every day. Bye now, folks.